Hi guys, we're gonna read the story, Poppy, How Many Stars Are in the Sky? It's written by Angel Vigil and illustrated by Adit Ahmad and Martin James. Hope you like it. Poppy, how many stars are in the sky? Poppy, how many stars are in the sky? Whenever they visited their grandparents' farm, Ariana, Carlos, and Maria gathered after dinner to listen to their grandfather's stories. On warm nights, they sat on the porch with grandfather rocking peacefully in his old wooden rocking chair. He always waited to dust to begin. Like children everywhere, the children had a favorite story. And like grandparents everywhere, the grandfather never tired of telling it. And that night was a perfect night for the story. As they looked up in the evening sky, just beginning to fill with its bright, shiny stars, the children began to chant, Papi, cuantos estrellas o en el cielo? Papi, how many stars are in the sky? Papi gazed lovingly at each of his grandchildren and asked them, cuantos pensas tu? How many do you think? Carlos raised his arms to the starry darkness, saying there must be a zillion, zillion. Their grandfather laughed heartily. Well, mijo, that's pretty close. Maybe you better count them. But first I have to tell you the story about the stars and why they're in the sky. And knowing the story was about to begin, the children pulled themselves even closer to their grandfather. Ariana nestled comfortably in his lap while the others leaned against his legs. Just as he had countless times before, Papa gazed up into the stars and pointed his weathered finger. You see, mijos, every time a child is born, a new star is added to the sky, and that star shines forever for the child. And that is why there are so many bright, shining stars. Every child is a gift from the universe and each star tells a story of a child's life. As they listened, the children dreamed, dreamily searched the starry sky, imagining all the children in the world. And secretly, they tried to find the stars that were theirs, the bright stars telling the stories of their lives. Their grandfather, soothing voice continued, if you look around, you could imagine the stars make pictures. We could tell stories about the pictures. Since tonight is a fall night, we see fall animals. See, over there is the bear that once chased your father in the forest. See, see the ladle toward the back of the bear? It tells a story of the delicious stew your mother makes for you. Over there, is a lizard like the one I once caught in the water pond. And through the middle of it runs the bright starry path of the Milky Way, leading you back home if you ever get lost. Knowing that their favorite part of the story was nearing, the children repeated the chorus, Papa, cuantos estrellas in hay en la cielo? Papa, how many stars are in the sky? Patiently, the grandfather began, Well, let's count them, Ariana. Cuantalas, you count. Sweet Ariana looked at the sky with steady eyes and proclaimed, Ay, una, una, look, a big one. And the other children smiled and grandfather lovingly answered, yes, Ariana, you are so right. There is one big star in the sky. Does anybody else want to count the stars in the sky? Papa asked. Carlos answered, I'm learning to count in school. Let me count. Una estrella, dos estrella, tres estrella, cantos estrella, cinco estrellas, seis estrellas, siete estrellas, ocho estrellas, nueve estrellas, diez estrellas. And with a deep laugh, the grandfather said, yes, Carlos, there are 10 stars in the sky. But if we keep counting like that, we'll never get to bed. Maria, do you want to count? 
Maria counted carefully. I see uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Shall I keep counting, Poppy? Chuckling softly, the grandfather said, well, what do you think, children? Should Maria keep counting? But the children knew that their grandfather had finally reached the favorite part. Together they shouted, Papa, cuenta tú. Dinos cuantas estrellas hay en el cielo. Papa, you count. You tell us how many stars are in the sky. And with his calm voice, the grandfather said, Mijos, look at all the stars in the night sky. All my life I have been counting the stars in the sky. And now I finally know that there are cien cuentas estrella in the sky. The children howled with delight. Cien cuenta hay más de cincuenta. Fifty. There are now more than fifty. And just as he had countless times before, the grandfather shook his head saying, no, not the number cincuenta, which does mean 50, but the words sin cuenta, which means infinity. That means there are so many scars, you can't count them all. Your lives are like that too. There are so many things you can do or be. You, can, you can't count them all, just like you can't count all the stars. There are no limits. He put the grandchildren to bed and the grandfather sang to them. He sang in Spanish just as he heard the song when he was a child. Duermente mi niño, duermente solio, que cuando despiertes te der al tolito. Duermente mi niña, Duermente mi sol, duermente pedoso de mi corazón. Later, snugly tucked into their beds, the children thought of grandfather's sto story and the beautiful stars in the sky, and they fell asleep and dreamed of all the many adventures their life could hold. Adventures sin cuenta. The